You're watching PLZ Soccer, this is your Wednesday World Football Bulletin. Juventus teenager Moise Kane suffered racist abuse from the stands during his side's 2-0 win at Cagliari last night. Kane was subjected to chants throughout the game and held his arms aloft in front of the home fans after scoring the second goal five minutes from time, which subjected him to further abuse, leading to teammate Blaise Matuidi protesting to the referee and threatening to walk off. However, Juve manager Max Allegri and defender Leonardo Bonucci said Kane should take some of the blame for his celebration, but Kane and Matuidi defended themselves on social media and have been supported by players from all over the footballing world. This incident came on the same day that UEFA president Alexander Ceferin said he will ask referees to be brave and stop matches where there is racial abuse from the fans in the future following a spate of racist incidents throughout Europe this season. Barcelona scored two 90th minute goals to salvage a point at Villarreal in a thrilling 4-4 draw yesterday evening. The usual culprits Lionel Messi and Luis Suarez scored two spectacular last minute goals keeping Barca eight points clear at the top of La Liga with eight games to go. Tonight, Real Madrid, who have won all of their games since Zinedine Zidane returned to the helm, visit Valencia, amongst other fixtures. Over in Germany, RB Leipzig and Hamburg booked their places in the semi-finals of the cup with victories last night. This evening, Bayern Munich hosts second-tier Heidenheim as they chase a domestic double this season. In the Coupe de France, Rennes delivered an outstanding performance to beat Lyon 3-2 and earned themselves a place in the final at the end of May. The other spot will be contested by either Paris Saint-Germain or Nantes, who meet tonight at the Parc de Princes. And Real Madrid have officially announced their plans to redevelop the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, which President Florentino Perez says will create the best stadium in the world. The four-year refurbishment will start this summer and will feature a retractable roof as well as a 360-degree video scoreboard. That's all from me. Thank you very much for watching and remember you can download our app which is PLZ Soccer.